All right, friends, welcome to my classroom at the College of Southern Idaho in Twin Falls. We're here in the Evergreen Building. Uh, this is where all the magic happens. All the chairs are up for now. Actually, the real magic probably happens out in the field and doing labs and working together. Um, but this is uh, the area I spend a lot of my time in. It's a little messy, so I apologize if things don't look awesome right now. Um, but I had kind of a, an idea I wanted to run by you, so please leave comments if you think this is something I should pursue or if you benefit for, from it. I've had several people uh, asking me about different minerals and how to identify minerals and rocks. Um, and I thought maybe I would put together a short videos on maybe one specific mineral. And I'm not gonna go through all the minerals. There's thousands of minerals. I'm not a mineralogist. We're not gonna get into X-ray diffraction and uh, spectral, uh, you know, things like that. Um, but just basic things for the average person that might help them identify certain minerals and rocks or minerals that they might see outside depending on where they are. So I thought the best place to, to kind of see minerals actually is probably just looking at samples because minerals tend to show the same properties for the most part, no matter how you see them. And so I think some of the samples I have here in class might lend themselves to that a little bit better. And then if this works out well, if this is something people are interested in, uh, we could go to the next level, which would be looking at rocks, which is dominantly what you're gonna see when you're outside. But rocks are made out of minerals, and so to understand rocks, you have to start with minerals. And so um, I'm also kinda interested in seeing how well uh, this looks on film, just using the little GoPro thing here to kind of look at some of these different minerals. So I've got a bunch of different minerals laid out here. I've got plenty more uh, back in my cabinets. Um, but I thought I would just kind of run this idea by you that maybe we would spend some time, like for example, over here on quartz and look at quartz. And that, that could be a, a, maybe that could be a several part episode because quartz comes in a lot of different varieties, um, and not just color, um, but banding, and then there's some, some varieties of cryptocrystalline quartz, things like agate and flint and jasper, and I think some of the names for some of these depend on who you talk to, and just having conversations with rock hounds who are into this sort of thing, um, it's not always, at least obvious to me, the definitions of these things and how they're agreed upon. But it, nonetheless, I could probably lend my uh, thoughts on on some different minerals. We could look at some different mineral properties. I don't know. Maybe this is something that is that would uh, be of interest to folks. Maybe this is something uh, that people would not find so interesting. But um, I've got uh, some mineral cabinets. There's a drawer for labs, um, and then back there in that interesting little room here. Oh boy, this can be embarrassing because this is so messy. Um, there's drawers and drawers and drawers of samples. Um, there's a mess back here. But the point is I have access to uh, a lot of samples of both rocks and minerals that might be of interest to people. And I, I think maybe, I don't think I would do an exhaustive series, maybe off the top of my head, you know, less than 10 different common minerals, you know, like calcite and quartz. Uh, we could get into a few of the metallic minerals um, as well, but you know, nothing, nothing too crazy in terms of uh, exhaustive. But I think that might be a nice springboard, especially the rock forming minerals, the minerals that you commonly see in rocks, things like potassium feldspar, plagioclase, biotite, muscovite, uh, that sort of thing. So let me know what you think. This is just an idea uh, of a, a series that I could do right here from campus and just throw up a short video, again, less than 10 minutes or so ideally, that focuses on uh, some specific minerals that you might see when you're out on your geology adventures that might be helpful to you. And so I'll look at the comments and see what people are most interested in. You can maybe uh, suggest certain minerals that you think might be helpful, or maybe there's some something out there where you just can't tell the difference between mineral A and mineral B and maybe that could be a direction that we go with this but um let's see how this goes and appreciate all your your feedback and comments if this is just a bad idea and a waste of time for everyone then i can scrap it and keep doing uh, the field videos which will happen anyway um but we'll see how it goes and then uh finally uh kind of a big announcement today is august 5th um 
and there'll be some special videos coming out. I've got videos lined up for the next week or so, some more from my Salmon River trip in Idaho, as well as, what else is there? Oh, a couple from Wenatchee, Washington, uh, a couple videos I did there as well. But the big news for me, um, I'm a big, I love volcanoes. I'm a big, I don't know if I'd call myself a qualified volcanologist, but for all intents and purposes, uh, I probably am pretty close because I, I've studied them, I've done some research on volcanoes, um, and I just love volcanoes. And if you paid attention to the news, you might have noticed that the volcano in the southwest of Iceland uh, has erupted again. This is the same area that erupted in 2021. And I kicked myself uh, in the pants over that because I didn't go when it was erupting. I've been to Iceland a couple times, but not while it's erupting. And uh, two days ago, when it erupted on Wednesday, I booked tickets. So I will be in Iceland um, on Thursday of next week, which is the, the 12th, the 11th of August for a couple days. It's a really quick trip. I won't be able to get to some of the other places I'd like to do videos on, um, on some of the glaciers and some of the other volcanic areas, but I will definitely do some from the active eruption site and some of the other cool areas that are in the Reykjanes Peninsula area in the southwest of Iceland. So that's the big announcement. So look for some videos from Iceland, uh, from the active eruption site, and I'll try to share all the information I can about what's happening there. Right now it's a fissure eruption, so the lava is erupting from a, a long linear crack, and it's erupting and pouring out onto the landscape. It's throwing lava up into the air a few tens of meters, but it's in the world of volcanoes, this is a fairly safe eruption. Uh, I think the biggest hazard there is just kind of being aware of your surroundings and then making sure you pay attention to changes in wind direction um, so you don't get any volcanic gases, which can be um, deadly if you're not careful. Uh, I have a gas mask and I've, again, I've been around lava before in Hawaii a few times, so I feel pretty good about uh, just keeping uh, safety as a paramount there. So anyway, big news. Hopefully you'll be able to see those uh, by the time I get back in a week or two. So uh, let me know what you think about the mineral idea and we'll see you soon. Thanks.